A little while ago, I promised I would show the conversion of this prototype microphone preamplifier into a full-blown PCB build. It always gives me the willies dismantling something that works, but here we go. If we follow the, follow the plans, it'll all turn out okay. The soldering is now complete, and I've attached these two little pluggy things so that, first of all, this lead is detachable. I might uh, permanently affix the lead later. Can I, you can see that I'm not using stereo, so it's a, a mono mic, so we'll just ignore one of the channels. Here's the little power pack. Let's plug this into the computer. And we'll plug this in the correct way around. Hopefully nothing's shorted. Everything's working. Hit record. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's bad. Unplug it. Nope. Nothing. Nada. Oh, we had something get hot, apparently. This piece here was warm. We'll have to check it for shorts. Damn it. I... Uh, I think I might have found the problem. That one right over there. Solder no worky. Let's fix that and try again. Well, that fixed it. Well, that fixed it. But the amplification level is not quite what I was looking for. So I'm gonna swap out some of the resistors to see if I can't boost it a little further. Nearly done putting together a little box for it. I just gotta glue in these little dividers so that I can screw down the lid. Yeah, the battery will go in something like that. With this piece here to hold it in place. The preamp will go here somewhere. And the microphone I'll stick that through the top somewhere. And I'll use some of this fly mesh stuff as a, uh, a sort of fancy looking filter on the front. And we're just about there. These are the last bits gluing together. Got a layer of that mesh in there. And on this side, I've got a little piece of foam in a sort of ring. Bit of a switch there in the lid. Bit of foam to keep the batteries in when the lid is on. It's looking good. Just needs a hole in the back. Haha, -ha. so this is a bit of a stuff up because this wire is going to have to come above the batteries. Ah. Man, soldering these wires together is so fiddly because of all this horrible this fiber which uh, obviously helps with strain relief in the cable. Wow, I just learned something super cool and useful. If you put a match flame underneath there, all those fuzzy little bits shrivel up and it just leaves you with the copper. I don't know about you, but I never seem to get tired of heat shrink. Obviously more heat shrink is required. Ever more heat shrink is required. There she is. Let's position the microphone. Hopefully that's an easy thing to do. Um, you know what? I think that's it. We'll attach the outside cable and the power cable, which holds the battery in place. And that. That should be it. Well, there we go. That looks okay. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. But it's not the ugliest either. And it should be a hell of a lot more functional 
than your average desk mic from JB Hi-Fi. Doesn't rattle. It's not exactly acoustically sealed. But I don't think that's important. There's a lot of things wrong with it. But it's beautiful because I made it. So here is a little sample of the microphone working. I think it's not too bad. It's not the best, but I'm no expert in acoustic circuitry design. I think it sounds quite a lot better than my old desk microphone, which sounded like this. Maybe you can hear the noise. I scraped the circuit together from bits and pieces that I know about op amps and a few circuits I found on Google Images. So I could make a lot of improvements in the future, I think. You can find my cruddy circuit at my blog, link in the doodly doo. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. Bye.